the morning. I'm going to show you how to make beef jerky quick, easy, and you can use it for Christmas gifts or birthday gifts or just because gifts. It's a good present because, man, beef jerky is expensive and you can save a lot of money by making your own beef jerky or even if you don't want to give this as a gift or just gift it to yourself, I guess. But this is a lot easier than a lot of the recipes I've seen because I have figured out how to condense all of the ingredients down into one bottle, which is old clods. And I may get some flag for some of the, you know, it's got soy in it, but I mean, most of the beef jerky recipes that you make manually anyway have soy. So, you know, it is what it is. It's a, a lot healthier than going and getting uh, the beef, like the freaking Jack Links from the store in the, the bag and it's got that jelly film on it and it's just gross. Uh, this is what I buy. It's the beef top round. Select boneless thin. It's got the least amount of fat. That's what you want. You don't want any, like hardly any fat on it. You want the least amount of fat possible because the fat is what keeps it from curing. Um, I wanted to make sure I had enough and I did go to Walmart. <laughs> And I found some bottom round. So I've never actually jerked any bottom round, but I've, it, you know, hardly any fat in it. Should turn out all right. But I wanted to make sure I had enough here to do all the jerk that I wanted. So beef top round. Select boneless and try to get it as thin as possible. This video is also sponsored by Fit Aid. I'm just kidding. I just live on these things. All right, so let's go ahead and get our. Meat out and ready. We're gonna get it, get it ready to marinate. <clears throat> this is fine. This is just what happens whenever meat oxidizes. So kind of what I like to do to make this quicker is stack them because it really, like, unless you're really picky about the uniformity of your jerky, just put them together. It don't matter. It's all going to go to the same place. So you can just cut these however you want. Sometimes I cut them down the middle. Sometimes I just cut them in half in pieces like this. What you really want, see how the grain is like this? You want it to where they're eating when you're pulling it like this way. You're pulling it off so it's easier unless you want true jerky, then you would literally pull with the grain. I'm gonna go ahead and just cut this in half. Now we got two, and then what you can do is right down the middle, and make strips. And a nice jerk strip, just like that. See? It works well. You can do different things, however you want to do it, I don't care. All right, we've got all of our beef in our bowl. We are gonna pour in our barbecue brisket marinade. They also have another one that's fajita, a fajita marinade, and I, that one I actually like better, but this is less, the fajita's got some, a little bit of spice to it. So I put the, uh, this is for all my family members that can't handle the heat. So barbecue brisket marinade. Just pour that whole boy in there. Just gonna kind of mix it up. Make sure it gets all in there. Already smells good. You just want to make sure it's on. Like, there's no pieces that are like stuck together that where the marinade's not getting to. Like, if you put it in a bag, that'll happen sometimes. It's 
sometimes like on smaller batches I'll put this in Ziplocs and you know you turn them and you move it around but still sometimes they stick together so I really want to make sure this is mixed up so, so see how I'm squishing it down make sure it's kind of like you see the I don't know if you can see that but the marinade comes up to the top I guess two bottles would have probably been better here but this will be fine so cut it all in there I'm gonna let it sit in the fridge for a couple hours and I'm gonna mix it all up again keep letting it sit ideally you want to let this sit for eight hours or overnight over this bad boy I, took, I keep the bottom uh, I don't use that bottom drawer in my fridge anyway so I just pull it out and I've got plenty of room for all my projects and stuff I'm doing all right all our meat here I'm gonna do a one last little mix before we put them <clears throat> start putting them on the racks I used to have three racks and I have no clue what happened to them to that or to the third rack I mean don't know and I'm just putting these on here just trying to make them fit best I can if they touch a little bit that's fine I'm not saying my way is the best way to make beef jerky never said that I'm just saying this is how I do it this works for us and we really enjoy it we eat this almost daily here's where if you want to add pepper I would do it personally got our smoke rolling we're gonna do two hours and check it at 175 degrees real quick I want to talk about this I've, and I've mentioned this before in another video but this smoker I've had for going on like 11 or 12 years maybe and it's nothing fancy I got it on sale I think during Christmas time and uh, it's worked fine for me and you know I'd like to have a bigger smoker at some point but man if it's not broken I just can't seem to replace it this has done worked so well for me and I've been so thankful to have it and I just want to say if you take good care of your stuff it'll last uh, and that's kind of part of you know living this life is not needing the best and biggest thing every time something comes out so this has worked well for us for what we do man you can put a whole turkey in here you can put a whole brisket we do multiple racks of ribs um, and it's plenty for us I'm using mesquite wood. I like hickory as well, but we have mesquite right now. And that's a classic Texas Texan flavor. Smoke it up. All right, folks, there it is. It's all done, delicious, cured. You can throw it in a, a Ziploc bag and just enjoy it. This is probably like $15 worth of jerky, if not more, if you were to buy this at a, you know, pre-made at a store. And I bet you this was like $8 worth of that top round uh, since we're making it at home. So it's definitely some money savings. So let's go ahead and have a piece. Just too good. Anyway, I hope this video has been helpful, Helps you, will help you save some money and be able to eat healthy and, you know, come up with some cool gifts for people since this is the holidays. So, hope everybody has a Merry Christmas. I'll see you guys later. Bye.